Lesson two, segments. So one thing we need to remember is the equal sign with a similar symbol on top means is congruent to. The reflexive property of congruence. is you could have a segment is congruent to itself. That's just called the reflexive property. It's like a reflection in the mirror. The symmetric property of congruence is if segment AB is congruent to segment CD, then segment CD will be congruent to segment AB. That just says you could switch uh, sides on the congruent sign and it's still congruent. That's symmetric. The transitive property of congruence is if segment AB is congruent to segment CD and segment CD is congruent to segment EF, then segment AB is congruent to segment EF. The segment addition postulate just says if point B is between points A and C, then AB plus BC equals AC. And if you remember, if we don't put the over bar, that means length. So the length of AB plus the length of BC equals AC. And a picture would be, here's points A and C, and if point B is between, then we know the this length here plus this length here will give you the length of the whole thing. Now the postulate, the definition of postulate is just a statement accepted as true without a proof. So another postulate is called the ruler postulate. And that just says the distance between two points is the absolute value of the difference of their coordinates. And that's the end of lesson two.